Hey everyone, welcome back. Ever stared at two cables labeled HDMI and wondered, why do they look so different? Today, we're clearing up the mystery between standard HDMI, mini HDMI, and micro HDMI, so you'll know exactly which one to grab for your TV, camera, or laptop. No tech jargon, just simple explanations and real-world tips to make your life easier. If you're new here, hit subscribe and ring the bell for more no-nonsense tech guides. Found this useful? Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who's always puzzling over cables. Let's get started. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface, and it's one of the most popular ways to send high-quality audio and video between devices like TVs, monitors, projectors, laptops, and game consoles. The most common version you've probably seen is the standard HDMI, or Type-A. It's about 13.9 millimeters wide with 19 pins, and you'll typically find it on the back of your TV or desktop monitor. This connector supports things like 4K resolution, 60 Hz refresh rates, and high-quality surround sound, making it a go-to choice for home entertainment setups. Now, let's talk about the smaller cousins, Mini HDMI and Micro HDMI. These were designed for portable devices that don't have room for a full-size HDMI port. First up, Mini HDMI, also called Type-C, is slightly smaller at around 10.4 mm wide, but still includes 19 pins, just arranged a bit differently. You'll usually find this one on digital cameras, camcorders, some tablets, and ultra-slim laptops. It strikes a nice balance between compact size and full functionality. Next is Micro HDMI, also called Type D. This one is the tiniest of the three, coming in at about 6.4 millimeters wide. It also has 19 pins and can deliver the same high quality audio and video as the larger HDMI types. Micro HDMI is often used in compact devices like smartphones, action cameras, or very slim tablets. It's worth noting that Micro HDMI is not the same as Micro USB. They're shaped differently and serve entirely different purposes. Micro USB is typically for charging and data transfer, while Micro HDMI handles both video and audio output. So how do you actually use them? Well, if you have a device with a mini or micro HDMI port and want to connect it to a TV or monitor with a standard HDMI input, you'll need either an adapter or a dedicated cable with the right connectors on each end. For example, if your camera has a mini HDMI port and your TV has a standard HDMI port, just use a mini HDMI to HDMI cable or plug in an adapter. The same goes for micro HDMI. Make sure you're using the right cable type to avoid damaging the port or getting a weak connection. These adapters and cables are widely available online or in electronic stores and are usually pretty affordable, so it's a good idea to keep one or two on hand if you regularly use different devices. One last tip, if you're setting up a home office or entertainment system and planning to use multiple HDMI devices, make sure your TV or monitor has enough ports. We have or consider a HDMI getting an port HDMI there, but you also have a It's an easy port. way to plug multiple devices into a single HDMI port without constantly swapping cables. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope this helped clear up the confusion around all those different HDMI connectors. Still not sure which one you need? No worries. Drop your question in the comments and I'll help you figure it out. If this video made your cable chaos a little easier to manage, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and stick around for more easy tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.